Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today I'm going to discuss how to survive Valentine's Day and be happy. Stay tuned. All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So let me just start off by saying happy Valentine's Day to each and every one of you if you haven't heard it yet. Today I have five tips for you to survive Valentine's Day and be happy, whether you are single or in a relationship, because sometimes you're in a relationship and feel lonely. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, the very first one is for mainly for you ladies out there, because we have a tendency to be on social media all the time. So stop this day, today, this day, do not be on social media as much as you used to be on social media, especially if this is the, the, the time of the year where you feel sad because, you, because you're not in a relationship or you're in a lonely relationship or for my military people out there, maybe your spouse is not with you at this time. So stay away from social media today. The second thing that I want to bring up is if you do decide to not stay off of social media today, then when you see your friends, all of the stuff that they're showing, the, the gifts that the guys are giving them, and maybe they're showing up and surprising them doing things, be genuinely happy for your friends because your time is going to come and you want your friends to be genuinely happy for you as well. So be genuinely happy for your friends. No animosity, no hate, like don't be a hater, <laughs> you know, don't don't throw out negative comments. Don't take screenshots and send them to your friends and, and then y'all discussing X, Y, and Z. D again, don't be a hater as in your friend shows you what's going on and all of a sudden now you're the negative. Nancy as in girl you got that oh girl you were satisfied basically putting all of this negative thoughts and energy into your friend's head because you miss negative Nancy are sad or whatever it is you are bringing your friends down don't do it be genuinely happy for your friends because you are going to want them to be genuinely happy for you your time is coming because again happiness is a choice right happiness is a choice so be happy for your friends. Be happy for yourself. Be happy where you are in life right now. Third thing I want to say is go out if that's what you want to do. Don't be ashamed or feel like, oh, I can't go out this time or this day because I don't have a boo. Don't be ashamed. Go out and do what you need to do. If you want to take yourself out to dinner tonight, take yourself out to dinner tonight. If you want to go to a movies tonight, Go to a movies tonight. If you want to do whatever it is that you want to do, then do just that. The fourth thing that you can actually do is call some of your girlfriends. Call some of your guy friends. Hang out with them. Take a chill pill with your friends today. So me and my girlfriends actually used to do this. We would call each other or we would make plans prior to and say, you know what? We all we got this year again, so y'all ready to go out for the night on the town? And we would go out and have a blast. And that would take away from those sad feelings or feeling sorry for or having to think we don't have no man. Um, which actually brings me into the next point, which is to say, do not get with your friends and start to man bash tonight. All men are this. All men are that. And everything about it is all negative because you're bringing that negativity around you. You're, you're surrounding yourself with negativity. And now it's becoming a repellent. For any potential guy who might be out just trying to hang out, maybe he sees you across the room, but something about your energy that you are letting flow from you is repelling him from coming over to speak to you. So no man bashing parties tonight. All right. Just have a great time with the girlfriends. Now, if you are the girl who happens to be listening to this, when you're out with your friends, they start to go into the man bash and negativity surrounding yourself with bad energy. Break it up. Find some way to break that conversation up. Maybe take them all out to the dance floor. Like, I don't even want to talk about this tonight. Like, you can make it fun, right? I don't want to talk about this tonight, y'all. Let's just have fun and then take everybody out to the dance floor or buy everybody a drink. Y you know, whatever it is, just break up that energy. And now, my final one, actually, this is a bonus tip, which is to, if you find yourself being in a depressive state today, again, Change your mindset. 
so you can be that happy person and then don't don't do not seclude yourself today because that actually is going to lead to you being even more depressed even more sad even more that lonely feeling is going to rumble up in you and then you're going to be feeling sorry for yourself that much more so don't do any of these things it's not necessary love who you are today enjoy who you are today you can survive valentine's day and be happy it is all a choice it is all up to you you choose to be happy you'll be happy you choose to be sad you'll be sad you don't have to be the choice is yours I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video today. Go ahead and give me thumbs up if you liked it. Of course, hit the red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face because here at I Love Me Me Me, I am helping you guys survive not only Valentine's Day, but each and every day of your relationships, whether it's the relationship with yourself or the relationship with your boyfriend, girlfriend, and or spouse and mate. Because here we are decreasing that divorce rate by simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. I will see you again 